So guys, I am back with another Outriders video and a little bit of an update from People Can Fly today on the previous known issues including the inventory wipe and character restoration along with details, or slight details on a new patch coming very soon indeed how's it going guys my name's dpj and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe okay so let's get straight into what they mentioned and they basically tweeted out with a link to reddit so let's go through the reddit post we wanted to share a brief update on where things stand at on friday the 23rd of april Inventory wipe and character restoration. Our work and testing on the restoration process will continue throughout the weekend. We hope to provide a clear schedule as soon as possible. Patching. A larger patch that we are aiming to release in the near future is currently undergoing testing. We will share further patch notes upon its release but wanted to share some very top level highlights here. We'll fix a number of crashes throughout the game. We'll fix a number of issues, bugs and crashes associated with multiplayer. That's what we want to see people. We'll resolve an issue that could cause players to get stuck on the sign in screen. I think everybody got stuck on that sign in screen at one stage or another. We'll include lots of resolutions for gear, mod, skill, quest, level and lighting bugs. This patch will also address a number of community issues including, but not limited to, Difficulty dealing with snipers, yes technomancers we hear you. Difficulty dealing with excessive knockback from creatures in the Stargrave Expedition. The 300 megabyte crash dump left behind on PC and many more things. Multiplayer, as you may notice the above patch will address a number of issues, bugs and crashes associated with multiplayer. While we hope that these resolutions will improve the multiplayer experience for many of you, we will still be keen to look into detailed reports concerning issues in multiplayer, as has been mentioned in this community earlier this week. Intentions behind balancing expeditions, downscaling and other key areas of discussion in community. We are aware that these are topics that are currently attracting a lot of discussion throughout the community. There are of course also topics that we discuss internally, however, because these are fundamental aspects of the game, feedback and considerations for change must be considered over a longer period of time. This is to say that while we haven't yet talked about these topics, we do intend to do so in the future. So there is no actual date on when this patch will be dropped, I'm probably guessing over the next couple of weeks, but the sooner the better in my opinion, it's also uh, pretty sad to hear about the inventory wipe still actually happening. I saw a post on Reddit yesterday, uh, yes, yesterday the 22nd of uh, April, where a few people are still experiencing the inventory wipes, which is pretty bad news because I thought they had that on lockdown, but it seems as though they ain't. But I know now the main, main issue me and a lot of my friends are having is connecting and playing with each other, basically doing multiplayer expeditions. Playing it solo, I don't seem to have a problem. I think I've crashed out the game once in the last 3 or 4 days playing solo, but playing in a party is a completely different story. I mean, we barely make 2 or 3 expeditions without somebody getting kicked or losing connection to the host. So the sooner this patch is released and these issues have been resolved, the better. My only issue is if this patch drops and creates more problems than it resolves, which we have seen in the past. But we will see people we will see but they do state about the inventory wipe and the character restoration i know a lot of people are still waiting on this i know a lot of people are holding off playing until they get their characters back and it's good that they're compensating these people as well who've had their characters wiped i completely agree with that so i'm hoping for your guys sake for the people out there who have lost characters and lost those inventories that after this weekend is over we hear first thing next week about players being restored because it has been dragged out a little while now. I mean, I'm guessing they've still got issues they're looking into. But I think for the most part, it seems to be a much better place right now. So hopefully they can have a fix for you guys so we can get back grinding the game. But yes, people, as you know, as soon as anything else drops, I will have you covered right here on my channel. So make sure you subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all things Outriders. But yes, tell me your opinion on this down below in that comments section. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.